Hey everybody, this is Brad from Johnson Small Engines, better known as the One Hand Mechanic. If I can do it, you can too. Working on a John Deere Sabre, it's a 14 and a half horsepower, 38 inch mower deck. We're going to do two videos today. One is going to be taking this mower deck off and the next one is going to be the transmission drive. You're going to need some tools to get this mower deck off. The uh, tools I'm going to use today are a, just a pair of needle nose pliers. Going to use a half inch wrench and obviously you're going to need a light for this one and like i said to everybody before always try to do this on asphalt or in concrete so you can slide the mower deck out a little bit easier first thing you want to do is put the mower deck all the way down in the down position for this john deere saber this is an old guy and it's been around a while but this is how you lift the mower deck up and down and as you can see you have to push in this release button here pull up a little bit push this in and then you can push the mower deck all the way down you want to get it down to the lowest position you can get it in then I'm going to start by taking off the mower deck belt and there's a bracket under here that you have to take off which is this right here okay and it has it, it's you can kind of cheat sometimes and go this way but I don't want to do that it's really not the politically correct way of doing it you want to take this off or at least swing it out of your way and by doing that that means that I'm going to put this belt back on here just so I can show it to you correctly all right so we got to take this out of the way. It has a half inch bolt up in here and you have to go from the other side. And it's very difficult to see. Not sure if I'm gonna be able to get up in there. You guys can see it or not, but it's right up here. And you have to loosen that up. It's probably gonna be extremely tight to come off first. And if all you have to do is loosen it. And if you get a couple turns on this, I am now okay once you get it loose this side here there's a couple of different holes up in here you want to make sure you know which hole it is it comes out of so when you put it back together again uh, you'll know all right so you're gonna pull this down and then you can push this out of the way and we'll start from this side by just pulling the mower deck belt off here and push it out of the way a little bit more and it should drop down right there and then we're gonna take the mower deck belt off and like I said, you don't have to do it this way, but you, this is the way it should be done just so you're not making any indentations in this belt. Okay, since we're on this side, we're actually gonna take off the pins here and in the back, and that's where you need your pair of pliers. Just pull this pin off here, and a washer, and probably most of you guys don't have washers on these things anymore. This has been uh, kept in really good shape through the years. You're gonna pull this off and you're probably gonna have to lift up the mower deck and then push that out. This will come out the front and you're gonna have another one on the other side that we're gonna do. I'm gonna go around and do that now. Okay, so this guy here, pull pin, washer. I'm gonna lift up on the mower deck a little bit just to make it less tension. Then we're gonna take this out of the front here. Since we're on this side, we have a pin up here. Okay, now this pin is a free, it's a free pin, which means it's just it's just in there. You don't you have to take it out. It's not like the newer machines. So you take the pin out, lift up the back of the mower deck a little bit, and then you're gonna be able to pull this out like that, and then it drops down. Now be careful you don't pinch your hands when you put the mower deck back down again. But there's a pin here. Now this pin, I always take out, okay? So take that pin out so you don't lose it when you're driving your machine around or doing work on it. Other side, same scenario. You're gonna get this pin out here. This one's a little bit trickier. This one's a little stuck in there. I'm gonna get that out. I'm gonna lift up on the deck a little bit to put less tension on that. That'll pull off. And then I'm gonna pull that pin out of the back. At this point, we're gonna put the mower deck back up as far as the lever here. Put this back up out of the way. And it should come off the back brackets here. All right, now we do have to take off the blade engagement, which is here. And I wanna go around to the other side. It should be a little bit easier to get the pin out. All right, so we have a pin here for the blade engagement arm. We'll pull this pin out. 
Now be careful, there's supposed to be a washer on top of that. So I'm holding the, holding the bracket up right now. Pull this, uh, well actually the rod up. I'm gonna pull the rod down. And I'm actually gonna put my left arm on the handle up top because I'm the, Thank you. put this down. I put that, you see. And there's that washer. Okay, so that washer is sitting on top of this. So as you can see, this lever right here, I'm actually moving moving the handle up top. That's the blade engagement handle. So when you go to put this back in, you can actually move that around so that gets in there. What I'm doing is up there. See that? Moving that around. Well, that's this right here. Okay. So you can put that back up in there and you put your washer back on. And then what I normally do is I'll engage the rod a little bit so the rod will stay there. So it's actually putting pressure on this rod so the rod doesn't drop down. So you can get your pin back up in here again. So when you put it together, just remember that. A couple little, a little trick right there is that when you put this rod back up in here, just put a little pressure from your hand up top on the handle, the engagement handle, and that'll stay, that'll keep that stuck so you can put the washer and the clevis pin on. Okay, so at this point, you should be able to pull this motor deck out. I always pull them out from the cheap side out. Not sure why, but I do. And this makes it a little bit easier. This one should just come right out. You gotta be careful of these arms here. Sometimes these arms get hung up underneath, but this one came out pretty easy. So that's pretty much how you get the motor deck off of the John Deere Saber. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. I do appreciate everybody watching my videos. Please subscribe. Thanks for watching.